and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube as well for our last 5-0 Friday deck. This is Mono Blue Tempo. So what the deal is with 5-0 Fridays that we just started today, and you know, let me know if you like this over on YouTube, but uh, planning on playing different decks that uh, were published by Wizards in the 5-0 deck list for Magic Online. They went 5-0 in a league. And um, and so then with, you know, going 5-0, you know that it has some legs to it, and so we're trying them out. So, you know, we have the donation deck here with the Folio of Law, but then we tried two other decks out today. One, one did well, one didn't do so well. Um, but here's Mono Blue Tempo. <clears throat> so for those of y'all that miss Mono Blue from last format, we're trying to bring it back, it looks like. Um, you know, so this is a little different. We haven't seen Mono... I haven't played against Mono Blue at all uh, since rotation, so I wanted to pick this deck out. So, you know, I wanted to pick out like some unique decks in the 5-0 list, if there are. Um, but the other thing about this deck is this deck is really, really budget-friendly. This has been a format that I just have not really been able to find out like a way to like really make good a good budget list. I know a lot of y'all, um, you know, want a good budget list. This deck has four mythics in the main deck, and that's that's the card, Brazen Borrower, four mythics. Besides that, there's four rares, Castle Vantress, which you can just play two islands. You don't need to play castles, and Tails End, and Tails End could be replaced by Disdainful Stroke, and so. Those are the only rares. All these other cards, uncommon, common, uncommon, uncommon, um, you know, common, uncommon, common, uncommon, uncommon. So we could replace, you know, you could play two Disdainful Stroke, play two more Islands. So this could have zero rares in the main, just four Mythics. That is a pretty important Mythic, but four Mythics. And um, sideboard, there's only one rare, the Vantress Gargoyles. And honestly, I don't even like Vantress Gargoyles. So I, I'm thinking that we're going to be able to replace Vantress Gargoyle. I'm not exactly sure what I want to replace it with in the sideboard yet, whether it's like, um, you know, some unsummons, disdainful stroke, something like that, especially, you know, like un replacing it for, for budget reasons. So, you know, keep watching at the end of the video after we play, you know, let's play the games first and then we'll kind of see like what could Vantress Gargoyle be replaced with. But I want to play the deck. Um, as is for the 5-0 list. But of course, our, our deck is trying to play the instant speed game, Cutthroat, Sailor, Brazen Borrower. We're trying to play that instant speed game, counter a whole bunch of stuff, keep our creatures alive uh, with Lazatep plating. We draw extra cards with Winged Words, and you know we'll be after we play a bunch of instants, we'll be able to adapt to Terramander, have a, a large threat there, and try to end the games with our large threat with Cutthroat and Terramander. So let's see how this deck plays. And and we'll see if, you know, like what, if anything we that uh, we don't like about the deck, but then also, you know, for if we're making it like a, a budget deck, what could we do? Because I think this deck can have zero rares and just the four mythics, I think, and then just all commons and uncommons after that. But all right, let's play some games. We're gonna play some games over in Ranked and see how it goes. Mono blue tempo. <clears throat> All right, so yeah, new, new, uh, different day. You know, so I'm kind of getting some like theme days here. Like we're gonna have, you know, like we have Tuesday Bruise Day where we build around cards that don't see any play, like rares and mythics that don't see play, and. Best of one day Monday, where we get some best of one in. Awesome. Good job, Kendis. Way to go. Good job. All right. This looks like a keep. We'll get our cutthroat in on turn two. And then we start bouncing stuff. And growing our cutthroat. It would be really nice to just draw naturally draw a third land here. Mardu. Okay, naturally drew a third land. So we can have bounce plus opt available.
you know, the, <clears throat> the tempo deck in general is going to struggle more with aggro decks than uh, anything else. So this could be a little tough for us. All right, I'm just going to let that resolve, even though we have the sabotage. So we get to go bounce. Opt. Yeah, I'll keep the land. I could bounce the Inspiring Veteran in response so then they don't get to draw a card with this Acclaimed Contender. Awesome, Papa Tim. Okay, cool. Yeah, and like last last Monday for Best of One Monday, I played a lot of you know, like viewer lists and stuff. I'm going to I'm going to do more of making my own best of one decks. Oh, darn it! I meant to play this first. Uh, uh, that could have been a 3 2. <laughs> well, we missed a point of damage there. That should have been a 3 2. But yeah, so I'm planning on playing my own best of one decks on Monday. Make, make those, but. We'll see. I may. I may end up doing like a combination. I may end up doing a combination of of best of three and best of one on Monday. You know, like do like two two or three best of one decks and then still another couple best of three decks. We'll see. The the best of one decks they didn't hit super well on YouTube, but also I I don't think necessarily our decks were the best, and so I think that had something to do with it also. I like that Debo 4. I like that. It's a good plan. All right. So, yeah, we did really well against an aggro deck there. Um, Essence Capture. Definitely think I want Essence Capture. I'm not sure. Maybe Kasmina's Transmutation. Just turn a large creature into a 1-1. One -one. I think that we can get rid of Tail's End pretty easily. And then I'm looking at, like, like do we really want Lasso Tet Plating? Like, are they going to have... Are they bringing in a bunch of interaction for us? Like, negate Lasso Tet Plating? I guess whatever spell they have is probably... I guess Lazotep plating is probably just better than a gate. Yeah. So let's do that. Yeah, they probably have some murderous riders. Maybe like Legion's End or maybe. Okay. You like the shorter videos? So like like what best of one has? Okay. Cool.
Don't think I want them having another lord. Oh, you assume the short videos are bad decks? Not necessarily. This could be a short video here. A quick 5-0. Our tempo deck. All right, I like it. I think I like making them discard. I don't get the attack in though. But then I also get counters. The reason why I liked Lazatel plating, because even, you know, this could just be like a 1 1 that would be able to block the the rotting Regisaur, because you like, remember, this is just an instant speed 1 1 at the very worst. Oh, they're going to attack with the 3-3 three, three there for a little bit. I was getting excited about that. They can double block Cutthroat, but yeah, you know, kill both of their creatures. Um. <laughs> winged Words looks a little unnecessary. You know, like, I could play it and I'd still have Brazen Borrower up, but I think I'd rather just be able to go Brazen Borrow and Lazatep Plating here instead. Oh, I didn't go through attackers. I guess I was assuming they just weren't attacking. Did I did I do that before attackers? That was a good draw. Yeah, the brazen bar was definitely necessary as like a, a four X mythic, but besides that, I don't think any rares are really necessary in this deck. Whoa, Mythic Mono Blue. Mono Blue Mythic. <laughs> when I, see, I see a three and a half hour blue eye video. I'll make sure to watch that because I know it can't be a 1 and 2 video. 1 and 2 deck. <laughs> Chat, how do I go first so I can win? I don't think there's any specific way to be able to go first. Oh no, Field of the Dead. And I don't have... Um, I don't have the 2 drop this time. Oh, I didn't update the decklist command, did I? Sorry about that, y'all. We'll do that. Surprised nobody said anything. Hey, there's the two drop.
Hopefully draw land. So I can negate or tails end. I'm going to tails end. Yay, we drew a land. Even though, like, I could have saved Tails End for Golos, but we have Essence Capture also. I probably should winged words there. Eh, maybe not. Boom, boom, boom. Um, I do not know of any codes that were released today. Nobody's coming in and said anything about that. Good job, Baloney Pony. Hit plat two, way to go. All right, so, yeah, so they're Bant. Yeah, so they play Bant. Like, I don't need Lazotep plating. I need Mystical Dispute because of Teferi. And I want... I kind of want Essence Capture Ether Gust. Got to counter that Golos. Let's get the essence captures in here. I'm going to cut a winged words and cut a terramander. Maybe just play two mystical disputes. No. I think I'm going to cut a terramander. No, I'm cutting another winged words. I'm just going to cut two winged words. <laughs> I know, I'm fin finally playing a blue deck without Ashiok. Oh, look at that. I'm number 1,000. That's kind of cool. Exactly 1,000. Just knows that. So looking for... Looking for threats. That's what our op's going to try to find. Not a threat. There's a threat. They're playing Oko. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit.
Here's some borrowers, good. I think I'm supposed to just winged words. Play Golos. Yeah. Oh, wait. I wasn't supposed to put the counter on that thing. Crap. That was a mistake. Now we don't get to adapt Terramander. I was like, man, this is going to be even bigger now after we adapt. And then I, then I thought, wait a minute. We don't get to adapt it now. All right. Well, that was that was a mistake. That was a mistake. I'm certain you're quite charmed to meet me. Yeah. I, have, I just haven't played Terramander in a, in a really long time, especially with Essence Capture. Just kind of forgot about that I until it was, you know, like right when it was too late, you know, after I click OK, I was like, no. I can't return it back to my hand. I can only you can only return you can only bounce opponent stuff. No, like, so like once once it has a counter on it, you can't adapt anymore. That could certainly cost me this, honestly. All right, they didn't have a sweeper. I mean that's true. We could adapt it, but it just doesn't gain counters. But we, I could just continue to adapt it. That's true. The adaptation doesn't do anything, but the Terramander can continue to adapt. Well, this deck's looked really impressive so far. So far, so good. Mono blue. It's back. This would have been great if we had two lands. I'm going to put an island back. How does this deck measure against Simic Flash? It's got a lot more counter magic. Like Simic Flash is a lot more focused on like the creatures and especially on you know like you know, like the like the large creatures, you know, like with uh I don't know, the the four drop. It's really good, the wolf. This deck is is much more about chip damage and trying to counter everything that Simic Flash isn't really trying to counter everything. It does have some counters, but it's not trying to counter everything. What's up, Roach Deity? Thank you so much, Roach, for the resub. You are amazing. Well, it looks like my opponent didn't do anything. They kept a one lander. I didn't even see what what land did my opponent play. Do y'all know? I was I was looking over here and and talking and stuff and trying to change my sub goal. What land did my opponent play? 
I know they played one land, and then they didn't play a second land. And then the turn three they conceded because they didn't have another land. But I don't know what land they played. Was it like forest? It was forest? Okay, that, that's, the, that's what I had. That's what I kind of thought it was. So yeah, it was forest. Forest could kind of mean anything. Every, every deck's a forest deck these days. It's basic forest, and they kept a one-lander. How do you keep a one-lander with basic forest? They gotta have, like, Paradise Druids. It's gotta be, like, a Paradise Druid deck. Oh, right, I can click View Battlefield. Let's get rid of Lazotep Plating, play Aether Gust, get rid of the Tail's End. More Essence Capture. I'll play a couple of Mystical Disputes in case, you know, like if it's Oko, we'll have a couple of Mystical Disputes in here also. Yeah, it could be Simic Flash. I think on the play, I would not keep this. But I'm going to try it on the draw. Maybe I shouldn't be keeping it at all. Overgrown Tomb. figure. Hmm. VT log, thanks for the resub. I appreciate that VT long. <laughs> yeah, the the fires deck looked did not look like anything I wanted to like it it did not feel very good. So I can Aether Gust the, the Ceratops, but I also need to bounce the Regisaur. This is just not going to be a game I'm going to win on two mana. Played against the one person playing Shifting Ceratops. <laughs> okay, so... We're going to get rid of these Mystical Disputes, play these Kasmina's Transmutations... Lazotep plating is an upgrade over Negate. What? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Roach. Yeah, we just have to we just have to erase shifting ceratops. We can't really 
Dude, oh my gosh. Everybody gets so much hype in here. Roach, that is amazing. Thank you so much. Alright, well, I, I hope y'all don't mind the, the sub sound. We're going to be hearing it quite a bit. <laughs> oh my gosh. What about putting artifacts in the sideboard like Stone Coil Serpent? I like I like that as an option. If if Ceratops is big, I like Stone Coil Serpent. That's a good option. Honestly, Stone Coil Serpent's probably better than that other card. Wow. New job today, life's good. Oh my god, that's awesome, Roach. Happy to hear it. Happy to hear it. Life is good. Thank you so much. So yeah, for those of you watching on YouTube, we got we just got 50 gifted subs, which is just incredible. That is the most gifted subs I've ever gotten at one point, for sure. Um By the means we're gonna have the sub sound here for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I keep excited to go to the victory menu theme. Do, 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 do. So I guess we tried turning this Paradise Druid into a 1 1. So that maybe, maybe they don't have another land and they can't cast this thing. I don't even know if that's like worth it with it, Kazmina's transmutation. Ah, <laughs> uh, didn't draw the land to be able to turn Terramander to adapt Terramander there. Yeah, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do about this shifting Ceratops. All they have to do is keep up one one green mana to give it uh, reach. I think, like, there could be a time, like, there could have been a time to, yeah, just use a, a counter spell on this thing, just be able to adapt the Terramander, but I don't think that was it. We're gonna have to go wide. <clears throat> yeah, that is true. Yeah, now we're over halfway to our next 12-hour stream. That's a good point. Could use another cutthroat. Be able to have like two cutthroats bigger than the ceratops. Boo. That hurts. I don't have a counter spell up for this turn, but we get that attack in and put them down to four. They only had the one card in hand that we didn't know about, and of course, obviously, their draw step. Put 
putting in some unblockable spells like Phantom Warrior can't be block spell. Uh, this this is just not this isn't a scenario that just happens too often with opponent having shifting ceratops. And we saw how we got to slow it down quite a bit with the Ether Gus. Um, we're we're already looking good. We're still looking good here. Like if. So, okay, yeah, so my options here, I was thinking about putting, like, if we put it on the, the Borrower, then we have two lethal attackers, and they can block one with the Ceratops. However, the problem with that is they get to attack with the Murderous Rider and gain, and gain two life with the Murderous Rider. And then, if we do that, then they block one and it's not lethal. Putting it on the Terramander, they, they end up just not even attacking, though. But putting it on the Terramander means that they have to block Terramander and then... Because otherwise, you know, even if they would have attacked with the Rider and gained two and gone to six, they the Terramander would still be lethal, so they have to block there. And so we could try to win over two turns with the Borrower. Borrower can't block creatures without flying. So that so that was the problem with putting it on the borrower. Because honestly, if I put it on the borrower, they get to gain two life with Murderous Rider with attacking and go up to six. And then I attack with both and Ceratops kills one and then I can't get in with the other. All right, three and oh. So welcome to all the brand new subscribers. If, if y'all are kind of newer to the channel, if you got a gifted sub, um, you get all the, all of your awesome all the awesome emotes that we have in the channel. And you get to use now anytime we have um, a new sub. You can put your hype boats in there and everything. Yeah, we won against the pro blue dino. They had turn three pro blue dino, and we won. You just ate your body weight in Indian food? Oh, man, I haven't had Indian food in a long time. I really like Indian food. Dalridian, getting that gifted sub. All right, yeah, I guess I need to update our, our sub goals. <laughs> Ugh. Boreal Grazer, that card's a pain. That card's such a pain. So yeah, we were at 5 out of 20 sub goals until our next 12 hour stream. Now we're at 12 out of 20. She's Lazatep plating. It's it's just a really good it's a really good way to protect our creatures, and it's also just a one one. Like it's a good it's a good chump blocker. Another day. <laughs> Have at it, boys. I was kind of hoping they were going to fight. We got in there. Snuck a point in. We snuck a point in. We got in there. I don't I don't know if I can honestly just don't know how to 
you know, quiet the the hype boat animation. So I'm I'm sorry if it's annoying some of y'all. Honestly, just don't know how to do that. Yeah, you'll you'll have it early. Um I do hate that thing making the grazer a one three. So if they have you know like a big big creature like questing beast or something that, that's gonna be problematic. Ah, it's a beautiful day for chaos, in it. Do I want to save Spectral Sailor? Courage is the greatest virtue. Aye, with the knowledge to direct it. Brave Are you attacking with that? Any plan. Oh, they just don't want to loot? Is even worth attacking this Royal Scions? It's just infinite loyalty. It's infinite loyalty. I think so. No hands. I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. I don't get the extra counter on the cutthroat by looking for a counter spell first. trying to kill these things. I just can't let him ultimate, and it's about to ultimate. Ugh. It's 
think I'm just going to play Borrower this turn. My answers lie in the cold truth. I used one Tails End already. We have another Tails End in here. I guess I just have to attack them. I would love to find that Tails End, because then, you know, the Tails End would counter the ultimate. They just didn't attack. If... You know, we may, we may get to the point, like, you know, like, we may have to I attack this thing to keep it from ultimating next turn. We'll see. So that's seven. I'm one point off of killing my opponent. Tugx with the Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, Tugx. Oh, it looks like we had we had another subscriber also. So we're at 68 now. I keep them from ultimating that thing. <laughs> no idea how this works. So you did it. You did it correctly. Yeah. So now you, you get a. It says. Um, three, four, five. Ah. I still don't have lethal now. I appreciate clean victory. My answers lie in the cold. I need to block Wicked Wolf. They're not attacking with Wicked Wolf. Yes, the, the MTG bot is one off. The first sub of the day today, it said two for some reason, and it's just so it's just been one off. There's not any difference for my opponent being at one or at two. So I'm going to keep another Spectral Sailor back. I don't have like an unsummon to try to draw into or anything. I'm going to keep another Spectral Sailor back just in case of some other kind of haste thing. We are at nine. This questing beast, you know, questing beast with first strike trample. Put 
your heart behind every attack. Yay, we got that game. Yeah, I understand, Dodd. Don, yeah. The, the computer is lagging. I understand. Whew. All right. We got that one. Um, I think we won all these mystical disputes for their, their three mana walkers and ether gusts and essence captures. I don't think I really want the uh, transmutation these winged words have just looked a little too slow I mean plating stops the wolf from fighting but I, but you know we're bringing in a bunch of ether gusts instead which seemed like a perfectly fine trade-off I think I'm gonna trim one negate So we're gonna we're gonna need to take out some more cards. Perfect, Phoenix. Yeah, yeah. I, I like the I like my Golos matchup with the Teamer Walker deck. I'm glad you're having success with it too. All right, one Spectral Sailor, one Negate. Hawkeye. Hawkeye coming to join. Yeah, I th I think... This is Hawkeye. I think the... Uh, the Gargoyles are in the board for, like, Mono Red. Not 100% on that, and honestly don't really like it very much. Tools are for personals. There's just there'll be nothing but dust when I'm done. Well, that's pretty pretty rough. What's that? Something smells rotten. Sabotage too slow. I'll play one transmutation over a sabotage. Yeah, our cat's name is Hawkeye. Ugh. This is not a very good hand. Like, if my opponent has the same hand, I lose. Again. 
This is this is not a deck that mulligans very well though. Like this is a deck that you need all of your resources. This is not a good mulligan deck. So with that, I th I think I'm gonna keep. Hope we just draw counter spells. Hope the opt turns into a counter spell. Drawing another land is horrendous, obviously. Worst thing we could draw. Looks like their hand was perfect again. I mean, it's better than a random card, but I want Mystical Dispute. Nope. Those blind to tyranny are lost. It's not uh, the very next card. How am I supposed to ever kill Oko? Quite the I guess I need the Aether Grass to bounce it. I mean, I, I knew that my hand, like, going into this, I knew that my hand was not going to be good against a turn two Planeswalker. Surely you must be famished. So I guess that maybe that means I'm supposed to just automatically mulligan. They can now minus five and steal a Terramander. <clears throat> and still keep Oko around. Oh. Loyalty is fickle and fragile. All right, so if I put the counter on the Terramander, I don't get to adapt at all. But it attacks through these things. They have to block to keep Oko alive. I guess I would have just attacked through anyway if I would have adapted, if I would have spent the mana to adapt. I really want to spend the mana to adapt. I guess we're actually going to use the castle. I guess I, I guess I didn't need to. I mean, so I, like, I would have had to like spend the four mana and adapt it here, but then it would have turned it into a five-five. And I still would have had mystical dispute available if they played a blue spell. I didn't like my opening hand. I honestly wanted to mulligan. I just was worried it, you know, it was playable. I, think a little merriment I was worried that if we go to six, it's if if it's not, you know, like really good, we're losing.
Yeah, mono blue is is more is a lot mono blue is a lot better at countering stuff. It's more consistent with the mana and everything too. And it's a lot better at countering stuff than what Simic is. Simic is a lot more relying on creatures. Creatures aren't the best against Doko. Surely you must be famished. So we've already seen a third of our lands. Put one land down to the bottom. There's only 21 in the deck. Are you kidding me? Nine lands. I'll think up a fun fate for so you. We've seen nine of our twenty-one lands. <laughs> Ugh. And Sixteen cards. Well, they played around mystical dispute by not doing anything the last couple of turns. Yeah, they did a, a great job of playing around Mystical Dispute. Looks like that's what my opponent was doing. Which Oko just gives you enough time, so you know it works. the humor here. Hmm. Let me stop. All right, well, Oko's gone. This is my cue to exit. All right, there's 21 lands in the deck. Deckmaster is not working for you. You may need to refresh your stream. Sometimes you just have to do that. So seven mana, which is which is a perfect amount of mana to play Sailor, flash it in. Oh, come on. I guess I make him use these two foods, I guess.
This is gonna be tough to race, honestly. It's going to be very tough to race. I've already seen three Terramanders. Are you kidding me? It's 11 lands now. Wish this Mystical Dispute wasn't such a dead card. They played just so perfectly around it. I wish I would have not had it in my deck, I guess. I wish I had something else. Yeah, I can block stuff, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, needed the. Dis <clears throat> I drew the dispute. Like my opponent played Oko on turn two, and then my my draw step the very next turn was that dispute, and then I never got to play it. That was that really hurt. It was one card too late. You know, even with the opt putting the ether gust down to the bottom. Then it was sabotage, and then untap, and then dispute. If it was one card earlier, we counter Oko, and honestly, we probably win that. For like, a, for how my opponent just had like, you know, like the lands they had, like what, the cards my opponent had. If, if the sabot, you know, like it was sabotage, then dispute. If those were just flipped, if it was dispute sabotage, we would have won that game fairly easily. So that was really unfortunate. Yeah, it wasn't a late game top deck. I drew it on turn three. But with having Oko in play, you know, like my opponent got to steal a Terramander and just didn't have to play anything for a long time. I did, I countered, I mean, I used the Sabotage. I could, I guess there's also that. I did use the Sabotage. I think, yeah, I think I, I used Sabotage and Scryed. I think, like, I think I, like, maybe I could have used, used it earlier. Like, on, like, a Questing Beast. What's up, Sock Monkey? Thanks for that resub there. I appreciate that. Uh, Tempest Gin is no longer in Standard. This gen is no longer legal. Well, this one should be a pretty easy game for us. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Uh-huh. We're gonna have a Christmas, a baby. <laughs> yeah, we just had we just had rotation whenever this set entered, and so um some cards are not legal anymore, and that's including yeah, that's Tempest Gen. No Tempest Gen anymore. Alright, so we don't need plating. Mystical Dispute's the kind of card that gets really bad at later on, but just because they have to ferry, I think I need to play it. And we're going to play all the Essence Captures. So much field and food, yep. Yep. And I talk about that, how there's you know a whole lot of field and food, but still how it was a really bad decision. Uh, sorry, I'm going to do a self-plug here, but talk about how it was a really bad decision for Wizards to move up the banned and restricted announcement from the middle of next month to Monday. Um, and so if you want to check that out, that is on the... Uh, Patreon page there. That's a brand new Patreon page where I put up some written content and everything. So check that out over there. Alright, so we need to have more land than one, so we're going to have to mulligan, but I wish this wasn't the case because his hand is pretty awesome. I mean, if we just draw one land, this is such a tempting hand to keep. Because if we draw one land, then we have we have the two mana, we have the winged words that we could cast. But the thing is, if we're casting winged words, even then, then we're not holding up like this counter magic. Gosh, this hand is so close. This is a really tempting one. Because even if it if we if it turns into a two lander, you know, we have cutthroat, and then we have counter spell, then we have counter spell. Uh We're up a game. Let's give it a try. On the on the uh, play, you, there's no way you can possibly keep this on the play, I don't think. But we got the two draw steps. If this was game one, I also don't think I would keep it. I'm kind of keeping it because we're up a game and we can t we can take the risk of having an awesome hand. That's a <clears throat> huge mess. This isn't a fight you can win. Don't worry, I got this. Time for plan B, as soon as I think of one. <clears throat> Veil of Summer. 
So yeah, having on on my turn three, having Teferi plus Veil of Summer back up is certainly a problem. Here goes nothing. Stop that. Now. On my turn three, that's a problem. I've got time. Let me know if you're up for round two. This is not a game we're winning. Glass Casket, Knight of Autumn, and Oko. Knight of Autumn. Okay. We just don't have time. <clears throat> Don't have time for winged words ever with this deck. And these matchups, playing some Ether Gust instead. Obviously, we're playing turn one Terramander. The thing is, do I need to hold up Negate on turn two? And I don't think we need to, so I think we can just go turn two Terramander also. so good <laughs> I mean I guess I do need to hold up negate now I mean, again, I gotta hold up sabotage. The fairy's too good. An extra spell in there helps Terramander adapt. They're down to just two cards. kind of the good news it's not you know it's not not a ton of cards you know trying to get field of the dead going and everything
Three three is not gonna beat me. Grab a land. We're not in the worst spot here. We're honestly, we're doing just fine. Oh. Do I ban that? Or do I, not ban, sorry, do I counter that? That worked out well. Putting a spell over there lets us adapt Terramander right here. Obviously, I would love to draw another counter spell for um, gross. For any kind of you know, for anything else they could have. You can't let them choose first. Like once, whenever the whenever this thing resolves, they choose. They, and plus, they're they're taking Terramander one hundred percent. Draw Golos. Golos. Um, putting the counter on a on the grazer on the borrower doesn't really make a lot of sense because the borrower is still going to trade with. Crisis. This is looking good. Double Terry, pretty scary. Stop. Oh, wait. Yeah. Tails end. Tails end for the win. <laughs> I was like, no. And then I was like, wait a minute. Yay. So what just happened there, if you don't know Tails End, it's, you know, you can counter a triggered ability. And so Krasis's triggered ability that is put onto the stack of being able to gain life and draw cards that would have kept my opponent alive. We get to counter that with Tails End and they do not gain any life. And, um, and that's it. Terramander looking more like Scaramander. That's right. It's it's the scary month. It's, you know, October. We got the Scaramander. But yeah, so Tails End, you know, you can counter an activated, a triggered, or a legendary spell. So yeah, we got to counter that triggered ability there. So yeah, Mono Blue 4-1 felt really strong. Felt really strong. I like this deck quite a bit. Honestly, this, is, this was... Uh, 
definitely a good deck here. I think Mono Blue is back. I think it is back. Um, all right, so let's let's talk about. All right, so like that's that version went really well. Let's clone it for Mono Blue. Mono Blue budget. If we make it a budget deck, how does it beat Ceratops? We we actually our opponent played turn three Ceratops game three against us and we won. They had turn three. They actually played turn three, turn four, and turn five Ceratops. Those are all facts, and we won. Uh, the first two times we cast Ether Gust to put it back on top of their library, so they had to keep recasting it. Uh, but then, then we just raced it. We got a Terramander to be a, you know, we adapted a Terramander and then Essence captured and put a counter on it, so it was a six six. So then, like their five four couldn't couldn't trade with our six six. Okay, so. Yeah, the the winged words was not very impressive. Um, it, all right, so if we're making a budget, you know, so I'm I'll post the like so if you're on YouTube, I'll post like the budget list also, and we'll put it here. I'll put it on the Stream Decker page. So first, we want disdainful stroke. Whoa! And then we want, yeah, you know, like the tails end just turned into disdainful strokes to begin with. But even then, I think I would play two Mystical Disputes in the main instead of two of these Winged Words. Those Winged Words were just not good. But if we're keeping a budget, maybe we need to be able to fit it in there. All right, what is this deck doing? All right, so we're going to take out that Gargoyle also. What, what can we do against Mono Red? In, in blue. Maybe maybe your deck's just not that good against Model Red, and that's fine. Model Red's like not that. I mean, we have all these Ether Gusts. Oh, you have Sir Lu Sir Eulen Drake, right? Like, what if what if you just put like a bunch of Sir Eulen Drakes over here? Boom. Done. Figured it out. Figured it out. Uh, quench. I don't know. We did. Yeah, we didn't have quench. It was never really a card I wanted that much. Like counter, unless they pay two. I don't know. I like. I like all these hard counters. So maybe you can get away with just three mystical dispute. Force. Force your Yulin Drake. The Drake is great. Yeah, there we go. So basically, you know, like for a budget version, take out the tails ends, put them in disdainful strokes. Maybe cut a couple winged words also, get a couple mystical disputes in here. That, you know, like this at the very least, it's, you know, three mana counter unless you pay three, but it can be really cheap. Like there's just so many blue decks everywhere. Yeah, it didn't really feel like we really needed unsummon. We have the like you have the brazen borrowers, so you have like the four unsummons with the brazen borrowers. It didn't really feel like we needed more than that. No, this is no this this wouldn't magic mirror would not. No, you don't want magic mirror. Magic mirror is just a really slow card. This is this is a tempo deck, uh, trying to, um, trying to just keep the opponents off balance, while, I. Uh, you finish the game out kind of thing. Yeah, so this, this deck has four four Mythics with a Brazen Borrower. But I think this is still a good budget deck. You have, you have four Mythics, but that's it. There's no no other Mythics, no Rares. That's still a pretty good... Yeah, it's not exactly budget, but... I mean, that's still a pretty good budget deck for, for this day... For, like, this this format that it's so hard... Um, yeah, you, you could play Unsummon over Borrower. If you want to make it much more budget, you can play Unsummon instead of Brazen Borrower. It's like if... You could play Unsummon instead of Brazen Borrower if you want to go 
you know, complete full on budget. But I think I think this is like a way you can play it without any other rares or anything else and still do very good with this. Um, no, this is a this is a common or uncommon. Every everything else here is common or uncommon. Besides those four mythics. All right, so I'll put this list up up there as well. That's that's kind of exciting that you act, you know actually have a, a good budget deck, but to talk about about this list, um, yeah, I really liked it. I was I was impressed by the tails end. Um, basically everything went pretty well for this deck. I liked it. I I don't like the I just don't know about these Vantress gargoyles. I don't really like this card honestly. I don't know, like, when I would actually want to bring it in, like, you know, again, I guess against Mono Red. But honestly, I think Sir Eulen Drake's better against Mono Red. So I don't I don't know exactly what this, this card's supposed to be doing, honestly. If you're watching on YouTube and you know, you know, like, this was like a 5-0 list. If you know, if you know about this Vantress Gargoyle and you know, like, what this card's supposed, like, what, like, how is this card supposed to be good and beneficial? And like, where, what matchup do you actually want this and it, and it does stuff? Because, you know, it says it can't block unless you have four more cards in hand. And this card just doesn't block very often. And then, you know, it can't attack right away. So you have to wait for it to attack. But we're trying to be like this this pressure tempo deck and waiting for this thing. You know, tapping out to play it with two mana. I don't know. I don't like it at all. Yeah, Bone Crusher Giant makes her Eulen Drake a lot worse. That's true. Not very many mono red decks are playing Bone Crusher Giant, but a few of them are. A few people do play it in mono red, but not everybody. So, there we go. That's mono blue tempo, though. A really good showing. Dang, it's 1020. All right. Well, let's get on out of here. So, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, also please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. And if you really like my videos and you want to help support, the stream and uh, everything for just two and a half cents a video. You can sign up for the Patreon page. Uh, the link for the Patreon is down below in the info panel. I just put it over here in Twitch as well. I also write, uh, I'm going to be writing content on there and also putting cyborg guides and that kind of stuff. Also, for those of y'all that want to join the Patreon page, it's $3 a month. Very cheap. Um, you know, it's just like some extra change. So hopefully, uh, I want to make it cheap that that everybody can afford it obviously not everybody can afford that but um the most people can afford it there and um and yeah check it out i just put up an article today about why i thought it was a mistake for wizards to move the ban list announcement up and you know like as we get closer to monday and everything i'll be you know writing more about um the ban list and then, and then of course obviously after whenever the announcement comes down i'll be uh having instant reaction on over there and everything like that all right that's it here for mono blue tempo though so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video